Hi, my friends, Master Brown here, Ancient Ways Martial Arts. I wanted to talk to you real quick about our tournament this weekend. It is an inner school tournament, and so, sorry, bowing onto the floor here. Um, so, um, I've done oh, so many tournaments in my lifetime. As a young man, I went to quite a few. I had one instructor, he says, Brown, we have a tournament this weekend, you go. And your response was, yes, sir. There was <laughs> nothing else that you were kind of permitted to say. It was like, that was it. And so, uh, I went, and I did, I did well, and... Uh, better than I expected, um, not as well as anyone ever wanted, but I learned from the experience. I was terrified. And so, uh, for those of you, everybody's giving me excuses for why they can't come, and I know some of you are out of town, and I got one kid in the hospital, and guys, I totally get it, but let me, those of you whose parent, who are parents of kids who are just nervous, or just afraid, or say they're not prepared, or they don't know what they're doing, or whatever, look, this is an, a very valuable experience. What are they gonna gain by doing it? Something. <laughs> what are they going to gain by not doing it? Zero. And so let me kind of give you an idea here. Maybe this will go along with with my mentality as a martial artist, as a, a martial arts instructor. Um, in life, we experience four primary basic emotions. And as far as we know, all creatures do. Fear, anger, sadness, and joy. I hope you had some joy in your life today. And you probably did. You got great kids. Or you got great family. Or you live in a beautiful place. You probably were angry at some point today because you drove in Manatee County traffic. <laughs> You may have been sad today, too, because you read the news uh, about uh, people who passed recently or whatever's going on. Maybe, maybe your stocks aren't doing well or whatever. We all feel sad. But true life or death fear is not something that we in 2019 North Americans feel the way that our ancestors who were cavemen felt. Think about it. If you're a caveman, you wake up in the morning and you lay real still to make sure there's not a snake in bed with you before you move. Then you check your moccasins, moccasins make sure there's no, no spiders or scorpions or anything in it, all the way down to the watering hole to, to wash up. You're looking over your shoulder, making sure a cave bear is not about to eat your head. They lived every day with that fear. And because of that fear, because they were accustomed to it, they were able to react appropriately even in the face of that fear. Whereas your ch children, mine, and us, because we don't experience that fear all the time, when it does hit us, when someone's trying to hurt us with murderous intent, then it definitely changes the way that we're able to, to function and to defend ourselves. And guys, I can tell you, working in the psych hospital, the first time I ever got attacked there, I had been attacked, or I had been in you know, hundreds of martial arts tournaments, kickboxing tournaments, hardcore, full contact, and uh, noses to the left because of it. I mean, there's been some pretty horrible stuff that went on before I was ever even there, but that was the first time someone really came at me with murderous intent, changed everything. There's no safety equipment, there's no gear, there's no referee, it's not a nice environment. And this guy has not got my best interest in mind. And dealing with that mentally, psychologically, is something we need to do the best we can to prepare your kids for. When your child, or when you, are here for a tournament and you get up there to do your form and your mind goes completely blank, which happens, it's happened to me, okay? You're going to suddenly feel that emotion and you're gonna work through it, you're gonna do something. And guys, keep in mind too, we're not gonna judge the students based on whether or not they have their form memorized, but how well they do the moves in the form. And, and I was told by my instructor, he goes, if you forget the form, do something and finish. And that was it. And so a lot of times, especially one of my instructors, he had his own forms like I do. And so it didn't matter that we didn't know the form. The judges didn't know what we were doing anyway, and so it works fine. Here, our judges are going to overlook any mistakes in the form, but they're going to look at good quality technique. And for those of you that are sparring, you're not sparring against someone who's got murderous intent. This is your friend that you spar with every Saturday and Wednesday. So it's not a, not that big a deal. And for those of you doing jujitsu, again, this is your team. You're not here to be better than someone else. You're here to be better than who you were yesterday. And if you do that, you win or lose, you really win. And so make sure that you're here. Make sure you get registered. Now, guys, all the trophies have been ordered. So if you're registering this late, you're not going to get your trophy until next week. Now, not everybody gets a trophy at our tournaments. We're not that participation trophy kind of school. Everybody gets a par participation token. They get something. And sometimes, some years it's a t-shirt. I'm not going to tell you what it is. This year it's something um, that we've done before that everybody seems to really love. And then the top competitors in each of our divisions for kids and adults will get trophies. And we'll have two grand champion trophies that we're giving out to for those people that compete in more than one event and do well. And so definitely guys, those of you that are on the fence thinking about not coming, you need to come. Those of you that are thinking, I am definitely not coming, you need to come. Uh, don't think of it like I did where it was my grandmaster asked me to go and I had to do it. That's not cool and I, I would never do that to you guys. But support the school, support your family members, and support your friends here. 
and be at the tournament. Guys, it's going to be a blast. Uh, <laughs> we always end up with somebody upset they didn't win. And then the next year or the next uh, next time our tournaments come around, they push themselves a little harder and they do significantly better. And that's what we want. Now, now more than anything, though, it helps us learn to deal with that fear that they're feeling right now. So help them through it. And we'll see you guys on Saturday. Have a great day.